I remember years ago, I was in the same Discord as uh, Seth the Programmer. And, I mean, he was always fucking edgy and offensive and everything like that. The one thing I do give him is that he never pretended not to be who he is. You know, Seth, uh, Seth he, he never pretended to be Mr. Rogers fucking neighborhood or Barney the Dinosaur, you know, he never marketed himself to be some family wholesome fucking, you know, Maximilian dude, Corey Kenshin, I mean, like, (laughs) he never once pushed that narrative, so... I understood why he went to Keemstar's thing just saying, oh, I'm just here to battle the pedophile allegations. And I get that because Seth has always been mean-spirited. There's a difference with being like, uh, I want to say edgy and funny than just being pure fucking mean-spirited. If you even go back to his debate videos with like the pen pen shit, and all of that, you can see that, you know, the guy's fucking mean-spirited, right? And when you're mean-spirited, you normally fucking hurt people and shit, you know? Now, me being a little bit older than Seth the Programmer, uh, nigga, I know the boy was a little off his fucking rocker. This is my thing. People been new... Except the programmer was a fucking asshole and a fucking abuser. The thing that fucks me up. Yup, listen. You motherfuckers are too late. You guys are like three years too late exposing this boy. Y'all been through this shit. Y'all, y'all sat on this shit for years. Now, I'm not necessarily victim blaming, but I'm saying like, y'all niggas sat on this for years and y'all should have been out of them. And now it's too fucking late because, listen, Seth is not going to take no big fucking hit. That man still got eight, 800,000 plus fucking subscribers. And he already got his core fan base and, and, and he has his niche. And I'm going to be real and I'm not dick eating. Objectively, Seth is the best at what he do. You know, the power scaling and, you know, the versus battles and stuff like that. And there's not too many people that does thorough research and things like that the way he, the way Seth does. It. I've seen Seth win all types of fucking debates, like <laughs> are traps gay and shit like that. <laughs> Even though Seth was dead ass wrong in that debate, the other guy didn't know how to argue Seth. And I, yo, when I say that I've been watching, you know, Seth ordered off Seth Clyde. Chuck the cyber cuck and all of them girls for years. <laughs> I've been watching them for years and I've watched their channels grow. So these people been knew Seth wasn't shit. <laughs> Seth reminds me of a younger me dealing with people. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. People only call you out. When it's beneficial to them or when you like bite the wrong hand. Now, as far as Seth making people eat shit and talking shit about his uh donators and all of that, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of fucked. And it's dead ass wrong. That shit is dead ass wrong. I've seen Seth talk shit about um people in like these discords and shit and all of that, cause like he didn't always have his own uh, the Discord. I can't remember the fucking guy. <laughs> Mind you, nigga, I'm getting old, so I can't fucking re- remember um, some of the stuff. But I, listen, I'm objectively sitting here telling you, Seth has always been mean. He's always been, you know kind of a bully and shit like that you know, mind you the man ain't never step on my fucking toes but you know these people like the girl satire and them could have been and came out and, and and fucking did something but now it's too late because Seth is not gonna take a big hit 
It's too fucking late. Yeah, there's going to be some scrutiny on his name. There's going to be a little bit of, but all my, I'm not taking up for Seth. Listen, I'm just keeping it real. If Seth wants this to go away, not necessarily go away, but like, you know, if all he has to do is just put out five good fucking videos and this shit will get slid underneath the rug like any other fucking YouTuber, half-ass apology, um, you know, mind you, he's not going to jail for this. You, you might can do a civil court case against Seth and sue him. But he's not going to jail because, like, he never had the news. You know, there's no child, hopefully speaking, there's no child pornography on his computer of this uh, girl satire. Uh, allegedly, he asked for nudes. Asking for nudes and actually getting nudes are two different things. If niggas, all right, for example, if King Star went to the police, right? They're not going to be able to lock him up because, like, there's no physical evidence. This is just internet bullshit. And y'all fucking it up by, like, interrogating him the same way. EDPP4567, whatever the fuck that nigga name is, whatever. He didn't go to jail because he didn't really commit any real crime. Now, him showing up and doing all that got his, his YouTube new. <laughs> Do I think Seth's YouTube is going to get? No. Nope. People still want to fuck with stuff. People still want to subscribe because his content objectively is that good. It's that good. You know, um, and by the way, I'm not caping for a dude because what he did, bullying an underage girl and all that, and, oh, oh, and all of that is fucked up. And it's wrong. Regardless of the, I, I, I guess he was what 20, 19 or some shit. I really don't remember. And I mean, it is what it is. Like, I mean, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, guys, that's kind of my point on this whole self-exposed fucking bullshit. The boy going to be all right. Um, he just has to keep making uh, content. Oh. If anyone in the comment section knows, how do I know this? Because I know marketing. And I've been uh, I've been paid to market for people and stuff like that. If these other YouTubers can say the fucking N-word with the hard R and call people all types of derogatory names, homophobia and shit like that, and anti-Semiticism, Seth can get away with a uh, with pedophilic pedophilic allegations. He can, because I've seen people on YouTube get away with worse and have actual concrete evidence against them. But yeah, guys, that's my take. If you if if you enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe.